And then finally I said, Disney? I thought you were talking about that knee. We are here with the long overdue beginner guide for Disney Sorcerer's Arena. If you've been around my channel for a minute, you've heard me mention this game several times. I have been playing it for a little bit. Just a fantastic little game. I, I checked it out. I don't want to say sarcastically, but not expecting much. I was just kind of looking for a couple of new games, and this was one I decided to check out. And uh, I am just really impressed with it. I think it's a great little game, so I figured I would introduce it to the channel, make a beginner's guide for any new faces around the game or the channel, and hopefully get you off to a decent start. Because I made a few mistakes early on that, that, that I would have preferred not to have made. So let's talk a little bit about how to get started in this game. Now, first things first, it's going to start you off with Ariel, Aladdin, Sully, I think you get Buzz fairly early on, and Mickey. I believe you, you get started off pretty pretty soon with all those guys. Now, they are all worth investing in. Ariel is great. She's a very solid healer. She's got a good strip on her A3. Aladdin is really good. He's got a lot of great stuff in his kit. Mickey is also really good. And obviously, I'm a big fan of Buzz. Uh, I don't know that I would recommend that, that you max buzz i just wanted to max buzz so uh you can invest in all the characters that you start with comfortably without worrying too much about wasting your resources or anything like that sully's gonna fall off eventually uh, and you can see i haven't put a ton of work into mickey but that doesn't mean he's not good it just means i spent some money and got some different things a little a little earlier on so uh first things first invest in your characters and do it with a clear conscience okay now let's talk a little bit about investing in your characters and what what that entails they have their skills, they have their gear, they, you ha they have their level, and then they have these shards. Now, for my raid players, the, the mechanics in this game are a little bit different. If you've played Marvel Strike Force, Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, Dragon Champs, it's more of a shard collector, but uh, I, I, I know some people don't like shard collectors. I would say this one's worth giving a shot. It is, uh, it is very grindy, as they all tend to be, but it is, it is really good I'm, I'm really enjoying the game so far as, as i've said many times so for the skills and this is going to be kind of where we get into not making some of the mistakes right what i was doing because i just assumed that the that this stuff would be very easy to come by i was just upgrading skills as i could because as you see you've got these little red notifications so basically every time i got a red notification i wanted it to go away so i would just level up whatever skills I could level up on whoever I could level them up on, right? Uh, don't do that. That's one of the things. A lot of what I'm going to tell you to do is going to be to progress with intention. And this this is going to be the first example of that. Look at the skills and see what you're getting out of the next skill up. Because you will run out of those... That, that's, that skill up currency right here, right? And it's not as readily available as you might think it is and i do have a lot but keep in mind i do spend money and i've been playing a long time so uh, th this stuff is not as easy to come by as you think as is gold gold is kind of tough it is it is hard to sit above a million gold in this game um for me anyway so look at the skills think about what you're upgrading for example i wanted her heal to to be maxed out so i went with that but the other stuff i don't need to be maxed so look at the skill and think about if you need it. Leveling up, you can only level up a character as high as your account level, and obviously it gets more and more expensive. So just to level her up, two more levels is over 100,000 gold. So you can see it will start to go quick, and it will start to go quicker the further you progress, right? I think gold is the hardest thing to, to hang on to in this game. Now, for the gear, let's look at someone that I can equip some stuff on and talk about it. We'll just scroll down here and, and look at some of the lower levels. So he is gear tier three. They're going to start at one, obviously. And anything that you have readily available to equip is going to have this green plus sign. So you can click it. You can click equip. And it'll put it on him. When you equip all six pieces of someone's gear, you can tier them up to the next level. And then you do it all again, but with higher quality pieces, right? So when someone has the hammer... That means that you don't have the piece readily available, but you do have the materials to craft it. So you'll come in here, you go to combine, and then you can equip it, okay? When someone has the red 
it, it, it means the same things. It just means that they're not the appropriate level yet. So, like, I have this piece ready for him, but he needs to be level 50, okay? Level 50 is like a hard, hard requirement for some stuff a little later in the game. So, uh, and then blue means you can search for it. Purple means you can search for it. All of that stuff. And then the green, obviously. So that, that that's a quick rundown of gear. Now, last thing about powering up your character are the shards. Obviously, you're going to need more shards every time you want to level them up. But if, an easy way to farm a specific character is to come in to find. And then this tells you everywhere you can get them. So I wouldn't recommend spending gems on them. But here I can hit the Elite Campaign, I can hit the Grand Campaign, and we're going to talk about those in a minute. I can get shards for her from the Exchange. So just weigh what you want to spend, where you want to spend it, and how you want to do it. But you farm the shards, they're going to drop a few at a time from the Campaign, so like I said, it is grindy. But keep doing it, it adds up, and it's important to get the star level up, and it's important to get the gear tiers up on your characters, okay? So, that's a quick rundown of, of your characters and skill ups and all of that fun stuff. Now, in the same way that I said move with intention in your skill ups, move with intention in your shard farming, okay, from the campaign. You'll, you'll see when you come into the campaign, you've got these stages and it tells you what can drop from each stage. And then some stages have a picture of a character on top of them. Now, Grand Campaign is a pretty good mix of heroes and villains. So you, for instance, if you wanted to come get Mickey, you can come in here and farm him fairly early. Once you've three-starred a stage, which means you beat it with a team and no one died, then you can just auto-complete it. So I can come in here and auto it. If I had more energy, there would be a slider that I could slide up and do as many times as my energy would allow. And I would just come in here. And Grand, grand Campaign, there's no limit to the amount of times you can farm it a day. So as long as you have the energy, do it, okay? And just pick which characters you want to get, come in here and get them. Again, I would recommend building that that heroes team that it gives you early on. Then you've got heroes and villains campaign, and you'll notice the energy is a different color, okay? Same principle, but it's going to split off into this top tier, and this is the elite campaign. And again, you just come in here, and this is where you can get shards, and it's going to limit you to how many times you can do this per day. So, you know, my energy will only allow, but it, I think it's four. It, it lets you do four on each node uh, where you can get shards, and then you can refresh if you want to do more with gems. Down here, I don't believe there is a limit. So the Heroes campaign has villains nodes, even though they've kind of started adding some, some different stuff lately. But typically, it's been Heroes campaign has villain nodes, and villain campaign has hero nodes. Hero campaign, you can only bring heroes in. Villain campaign, you can only bring villains in. So uh, we'll talk a little bit more about a, a villains team for you to get started with a little later in the game. Right now, it's just, it's just kind of getting started. So don't go in here and just jump around and farm random characters all over the place. M move with intention, right? Anytime you're farming shards, move with intention. I recommend getting your Mickey shards, getting your Ariel shards, getting your Aladdin shards, working on that for now, okay? Eventually, you're going to start to think a little bit more about team synergy and all of that stuff. But for now, build your heroes team. Build them intentionally, okay? Moving on to the next tip you'll notice there's two things I want to show you. In your store, if you come to this tab and scroll down, you have this add chest. You can want you can get 10 of them a day, okay? Now I know th this is something you would do as a background task, right? So you start the ad, go about your business, collect your reward, start the ad. It seems very tedious, but two gems per chest guaranteed, that's 20 gems a day, okay? Over a month, that's 600 gems, roughly, right? So if you're, especially if you're going to be a free-to-play player, this is going to be a great source of gems for you, because gems are going to be important for refreshing your energy, refreshing your campaign nodes in the elite campaign, doing things of that nature. So, I would recommend that you come in here and do this on top of the potential for gold, right? There's there's a good bit of gold to be had here, a good bit of potions. It's it seems small, it seems minimal, but over a month, it's going to add up. Okay, so that's the first free chest you can do. The next one is in your dailies. You will have this. Watch an ad and get three gems. That's nine gems a day, which is another 270 gems a month. So you're looking at earning almost 900 gems a month just by watching your daily ad videos. And they're anywhere from what, like 15 to 30 seconds, I think. So again, just watch your video, go about your business. 
dedicate a little bit of time every day to just doing that as a background task, but I highly recommend it. That's a lot of gems, okay? That's, that, that's gonna help you progress a lot faster, refreshing your energy and, and pushing through your campaign a little bit further. Uh, a lot of resources there. Those are kind of the most important tips, I think, to get started. Another thing I highly advise that you do is get into a club as quickly as possible. Come in here, find one that's open, get in it, and participate as you're able, right? I postponed doing this for a long time, and the rewards that you get from being in a club are so valuable. I would, have, I would be so much further in this game had I not put off joining a club for as long as I did. So get into a club as quickly as you can. Uh, and then, you know, later on, if you want to find one that's more competitive or more your speed, whatever it may be, but I highly recommend that you get into a club. The rewards are just so good, so good. Um, beyond that, it's very intuitive. It's very user-friendly. As you unlock each bit of this content, click it, do what it, do what it allows you to do every day. There's a daily limit pretty much to, to every content, I think except towers of endurance, but you're gonna hit a cap there where you can't go any further anyway. So just as you unlock all this content, click each content, do whatever you can do daily, right? The more you do it, the more comfortable you'll get with it. It'll all start to make sense. And I'm gonna make more videos on individual content moving forward. But again, this is just about getting you started as a beginner. As far as your gems, last thing I wanna talk about. These gems right here are kind of the, the money currency of the game, okay? So that's why it's important for you to, to get the free bits of it that you can. It's going to be tempting to come in and do things like this. This 3600 gem big summon, right? Where you can potentially get all these shards of all these great characters or the limited time ones where you can potentially max out. You know, they, 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 they dangle this 330 potential where you could just max them out immediately. Uh, it's not going to happen. <laughs> it's not going to happen. So unless you were in a dire situation where you need a few more shards to finish an event for a specific character, which is something you'll get into a little later anyway, I would stay away from the gem summons. If you want to, if you've got a lot of gems and you want to come in here occasionally, it is fun to come in here and roll the dice and see what happens. But I think in most cases, it's going to be the, it's the equivalent of pulling a slot machine. If you've played any gotcha games before, you know how it goes. You are probably going to spend 800 gems and get eight shards or 1200 gems and get eight shards, right? It's going to be a huge waste of gems. They will be much better spent on campaign energy. So like right now I'm empty. It costs a hundred for grand campaign. If you go into the heroes or villains campaign, it starts out being 50. And then the more you do it, it'll, it'll go up to a hundred and then it'll go up to 200. I will typically do it up to the point where it hits 200. For me, 200 gems is not worth a refill. If you're going to be spending a lot of money, maybe it is worth it, but I will generally refill. Sometimes I'll do it up to 100, sometimes I'll do it up to the 200 mark, but I would recommend refilling your elite campaign energy or your, your heroes and villains campaign energy a couple times every day. It's gonna speed up your progression, it's gonna speed up your shard farming, you're gonna get more resources from it. Uh, it's just in general going to be the best use of your gem. So that is what I would recommend doing with your gems. If you, like I said, if you want to go in and, and roll the dice, pull the, pull the slot machine handle uh, occasionally, keep your sanity, have your fun. But if you're, if you're looking for efficiency, it's going to be energy refills. Okay. And that's pretty much the gist that that should get you started and help you avoid some mistakes. The, the big thing that I did early on was I wanted to get all the characters that I recognized, right? I wanted to come in and get everybody. I was, everybody that I unlocked, I immediately maxed their level. I immediately skilled them up. And then a lot of them I'm not using. I've got a lot of people down here that I'm not using right now that I put a lot of resources in because I just was just doing that as I, I, I thought resources were gonna be easier to get. So I would hang on to your resources and, and level up, skill up, gear up, shard farm. Do it all with intention, right? Put it into Aladdin, put it into Ariel, put it into Mickey, 
put it into Buzz, put it into Sully, put it into your core team originally. And as you progress, as you develop more synergies, as you participate in more events, you'll unlock a lot more stuff and you'll, you'll get a better feel. But for now, move with intention. That is my biggest piece of advice for this game. So hopefully that gets you started, helps you avoid wasting resources like I did early on. Uh, if you have any questions below, drop them. I will do my best to answer all the questions in the comments. If you're someone that's been playing this game for a little bit and you have some advice that I didn't give here that you want to give to new players, drop that below too. If there's a really good comment, I'll pin it so that people can see it. Uh, more information is always better. I'm all about my, my comment section helping each other out. Uh, and I will be doing more videos on individual stuff, you know, team synergies and different types of content in the game and all that fun stuff. But uh, hopefully that's enough to get you started. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. I thought you were talking about that knee. That's bad. That is so bad.